Okay, this is the TSP lecture on the Miller <clears throat> Miller Tucker Zimlin model or MTZ. I'll click on that. Okay. So the setup here is similar to the DFJ model. Um, I guess one difference here is that we're now working with a directed input. Um, so our graph has directed edges instead of undirected edges. So there's a slight change to this right here. Otherwise, I can run these cells. So we have our random instance now. OK. So in the MTZ model, create a Groby model object. I'll create these binary variables for each edge. Um, now these are for direct images, but the graph G has changed. So G above is now a directed graph. So I don't actually this line of the code looks the same as before. These are all binary variables. And also like before, the objective is to minimize the length of the tour, which I think this looks exactly the same. So I just multiply each. This, I can apply that by the decision to include the edge. And then I sum this over all edges. Okay. Now in the MTZ model, since everything is directed, uh, I don't say that nodes touch two edges. I say that they have one incoming edge and they have one outgoing edge. They enter each city once and leave each city once. Express like this of a constraint for every node J. That constraint says the number of edges that point in is exactly one. And so I sum all of the xij variables over all choices of i, which because this is a directed graph, I have to do g dot predecessors. We have a similar set of constraints to leave the nodes, but now I'll write this for every node i. And then I'll sum over the J's that it could go to after. Okay. So now instead of predecessors, this is successors. Okay. And if I wanted to solve the model so far, do that. So this will solve really quickly, even for very, very large instances. Uh, now I can get what that solution is. So I'll get the two art edges. These are all of the edges of the form IJ over. And I guess I could even just do this as E, E for E M G dot edges if X E is currently taking a value more than 0.5 in my solution. And I can draw it. Again, this is G edge subgraph. Edges. Position is same positions, no positions from before. Okay. So you'll see that just forcing uh, one entry and one exit from each node is not enough to get us our tour. So there are a lot of uh, reasons why this is not a tour. So what the Miller Tucker Zimlin model is going to do is it's going to create a new variable. Which I'm going to call U. We create a new variable for each node. So this will be for every node. And this U variable is going to keep track of what's the position of the node in the tour. So 
somewhere the tour will start. Um, and I'm going to suppose that I start the tour at node zero. And then, so that node zero will end up be, being in position zero in my tour. So, yeah, the tour will look like this. We'll start off at node zero, and then it'll go to some other node, V1, and it'll go to V2, V3, and so on. So, whatever node is V1, that will have position one in my tour. So let's say this was, I don't know. Four. So this is position zero, this is position one, position two, and so on. So the U variable for that node four would say it's in position one. So that's what the, the MTZ constraints are going to do. They're going to force this. And so basically what it says is anytime you have an edge IJ in your tour, you need to force that the Position of J is at least the position of I plus one. That's what the constraints will say. So they look like this UI minus UJ plus N, which N is supposed to be the number of nodes, which I think we, we actually have defined above. So I can just use N. Um, N times the xij variable, and that should be at most in minus one. And I want to impose this for every edge, um, except for edges that point to the start of our tour, so node zero. So I, I don't want this to be imposed when uh, j is zero, so it only imposes if j is not equal to zero. Add those variables and I add those constraints, I can solve. Assuming I did it right. Let's try. Okay, so it solves half a second, not too long. Let's again draw the tour. So let's, I guess, first get this and then draw it. What do you know? We've got a tour now. All right, so that does it for the MTZ video.